Okay, so in previous videos, we've uh, added and subtracted matrices. That was really easy. One element, one element, add them together. Um, and we've also multiplied matrices by a scalar, and that was really easy as well. Take a number and multiply it by everything in the matrix, and you've got a new matrix. This time, we're multiplying matrices, one matrix times another matrix. Uh, and you would think it's going to be the same as addition and subtraction, but actually, it's far, far, far more complicated, and this is one where people fall down. So make sure you buckle up, make sure you take some notes. This one's going to be a bit of a tough one. All right, so there are no two numbers that you can't multiply together. You can do 3 times 2, you can do 4 times 8. Matrices, there are only very specific matrices that you can multiply together. Other ones, you just, you're not allowed to do it. It just doesn't happen. Uh, same way that you can't add matrices of different orders. Now, you can multiply matrices of different orders, but they have to be very special. If matrix A is order M times N, and matrix B is order N times P, then A times B is possible. You can multiply them. And the result has order M times P. So what does that mean? If the first matrix has um, this number of columns, and the second matrix has that same number of rows, then you are allowed to multiply them. And if you do multiply them, you will have the first matrix's number of rows and the second matrix's number of of columns. So for example, if A has three rows and two columns, and B has two rows and four columns, then you are allowed to multiply them because the columns in the first one match the rows in the second one. And if you do multiply them, your result will have three rows and four columns. Okay, that's that's a little bit of our theory. Let's do one and see how it works. All right, so here's my two matrices, A and B. Uh, now, this matrix here, A, is a 2 by 3 matrix. This matrix here is a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, so based upon what we just learned, we can multiply A times B because that and that match. Now, if they match, the result is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So we know that A times B uh, is going to be equal to, I'll move A times B down here a bit. We know that A times B is going to be equal to a matrix, I'm going to make it nice and big here, with four elements. One, two, three, four elements. A 2 by 2. Okay, and the way that we do it, is multiply the rows of the first one by the columns in the second one. All right. So that means we're going to do the first element of the first row times the first element of the first column. So 1 times 1. And then we're going to add that to the second element of the first row and multiply that by the second element of the first column column, 2 times 2, so across and down, across and down, so 2 times 2. Then we're going to take the next element of the row, the last element of the row, multiplied by the last element, oh sorry, the last element of, yes, the last element of the row, multiplied by the last element of the column. Okay, and there's our first element, 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3. All right, 3 to go. Now I've done the first row times the first column. And now I'm going to do the first row times the second column. So 1 times 4, 2 times 5, 3 times 6. Okay, so first row times first column, first row times second column. This next one is going to be the second row times the first column. So it's going to be 4 times 1 plus 5 times 2 plus 6 times 3. And finally, this last element is going to be the second row times the second column. So 4 times 4 plus 5 times 5 plus 6 times 6. Okay, my brackets are getting a bit skew with, but you see what's going on here. And finally, get yourself a calculator, add all of that up, and we should get one, two, three, four elements nice and easy.
Okay, uh, 14, 32, 32, 77, that is A times B. Um, row times colon, row times colon, row times colon, row times colon. That's how you get your elements. So why would you want to multiply two matrices together? Well, I have my uh, power example again, solar, wind, and hydro produced in Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria. These are the units produced. And here we have uh, the cost of producing or consuming whatever Cost of, let's say consuming, the cost of consuming uh, electricity in Queensland at peak time. The cost of producing electricity in New South Wales at peak time. Uh, and then at off peak time as well. Now, if I multiply, watch what happens. And think about the numbers that I'm multiplying. Solar in Queensland time peak cost in Queensland is three times one. Uh, solar in New South Wales time peaks cost in New South Wales. See how this matches? So two times two. Uh, solar times this plus three times one. Okay, um, and then I can do that one times that one. That's going to be this element here. So now we're doing solar energy in off peak time. So that's going to be three times 0 0.5 plus two times one plus um, one times a dollar fifty. Okay, and now I have etc etc wind at peak wind at off peak hydro here uh, hydro here so I'm going to put in my my new elements uh, real fast all right and now I'm just going to put all of that into my calculator all right so when I do that uh, what I have now is a uh, 3 by 2 matrix that's come from these two matrices. Uh, now, the I guess the Queensland New South Wales Victoria, Queensland New South Wales Victoria thing has been cancelled out in the process. And now what we now have is the 3 by 2 matrix. So solar, wind, hydro, peak, off peak. All right, so what does it say? Well, the cost to consume solar power at peak time is 10 units. The cost to, com to consume off-peak is 5 units. Wind at peak is 12. Wind at off-peak is 3. Um, and that's across the, the three states. Um, okay, that's a use of multiplying matrices.